from Thunder Valley Resort in Lincoln, California. This is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I am Chris Hansen. This guy's the pride of Eastern Connecticut. It's Joe Stapleton. Well, we are back at Thunder Valley in Sacramento, California, and the question of the day is, can Phil Helmuth keep up his winning ways? We promise to answer that question and at least one more important question from each and every one of you at some point today. Excuse me, I have an important question. Right over here. Uh, are we gonna start the poker soon? Soon, yes, but first, a chip count. At the Mayfair, you would deal yourself. At the Mayfair close in 92, maybe. No, no, no not even not even close, no. Phil. We continue day number one here at Thunder Valley. A couple of new players are sitting down, and they are Rep Porter and Bart Hansen. And Bart is already down 13,000 for the day. He's got to turn that around. Someone who doesn't have to turn things around is Phil Helmuth Jr. He wants to stay right where he's at. Is that right? And before you even get into it, Stapes. You used to play pool in there. Bart Hansen is not my brother. No, I just. Your brother Tad's still running around. Though, right? Tad is still here, yeah. Unless someone locked him in a janitor's I closet, which is totally possible. <laughs> I learned not to do that. You know, Phil Helmuth just tried to claim that they closed the, the Mayfair Club in 1992. I think the Mayfair Club just told Phil that. that they closed in 1992. They went strong for many years after that. So we got a couple of big hands and Scott Ball heading to the flop. Oh, this is a cooler already. Two pair for Scott Ball, but Bart Hansen has flopped a set of jacks. This is a sicker cooler than the one they keep Walt Disney's head in. 600, the bet from Ball. Yeah, Ball. How does Bart handle this? 19. No, you can, He's it's fine. Now there's, there's several Scott people Ball. who don't have a glass yet already. If Bart Hansen's training site teaches you to run like or this, then sign me the heck no, up. We can, I, I Just a call. From ball. Oh, I didn't know. Thank you for that. Thank Cheers. you. I got the next one. <laughs> well, the bill hasn't come yet. It's probably all going to show up together. Or a heart. So that so would put a possible one. flush out there. Scott checks to the last aggressor. That heart may help Scott. One of the hands Scott was beating on the flop was a heart draw. Now he's no longer. Curious how much Scott is willing to pay off here, and I bet Bart's wondering the same thing. The 23? 2,300. A little less than half the pot, good sizing. But then they read the rest, like all four. She sounds a little Set of jacks. Really? Scott does pay it off. Got the great turn card again, Phil. Cannot believe how cold that deck was. Oh, Gotti at the top of this. Wow. Ugly for you. Where's the pot? I just want to make a toast to Win or lose, I think we're all very lucky to be able to sit here and play this game for this kind of money. So, well said. Really well said. You know, greasy, emotional. Oh, oh, look at this. There's more comments. It's getting Maria Ho, everyone, or as I like to call her, the Pinot Grigio monster. Well, that's a nice start well, for Bart Hansen with a set of jacks there to win a big pot to try to get himself back to zero and start working on making a profit. I thought maybe Alan. I thought maybe I'm gonna get a stack of those pink chips with the worst hand. Uh oh. Scott Ball's one. trying to get it back okay, by straddling this hand. There's an extra one right here. Helmuth limped in. She left one for Phil. Bart and limps she in. Gave one she brought everybody, everybody a new glass. Mike Ross, limpy limpy. Okay. Rep Porter. Nope, it's going to get more expensive. Why? There's a lot of money out there. Everyone might fold. <laughs> no one's going to fold, Rep. Okay, not no one, <laughs> but definitely not everyone. I'm going to, but we're watching the same game. The chances Phil folds were zero. <laughs> he limped, so he has something. If he'd raised and I re-raised him, he might have folded. <laughs> All right, so he worked it down to two opponents. Bart's hand wasn't great, but he might think that he's got a post-flop edge against these two in position, and he has flopped a draw. Helmius flopped the best with second pair. He knows Rep's likely to continue with his entire range, so I think Phil's gonna call with a pair. I love how Mac Lamps comes over every few hours and just like <laughs> shouts us things from the rail, like. Not about 10 Like liven it up? <laughs> yeah. Like liven it up. Phil can't fold a pair yeah, of like, underwear. See, just know, ask his wife. But seriously, he shouldn't fold this pair either. Two more bottles, it'll be live, I'm sure. It's been pretty, I feel like there's been 
some play I would ca characterize as live. 1850? Oh, 850. Oh, yeah. You know, the good part about this pot is somebody's paying for the champagne. It's true. <laughs> Not quite yet. Bart's getting Bart's in. Bart's oh, price to call and try to hit his draw. Gonna... His pairs might even be live. Some of our engineers at Twitch were texting me and they were like, wow, how is there so many big pots in this game? <laughs> Hanson <laughs> falls. Because Phil beat me and everyone. All three <laughs> players still in. <laughs> and Dan beat Maria. <laughs> And Bart answers straight. Do the Bart man, do the Bart man. Eat my shorts. Lori did it the smart way. She just gets it all in on a flip, pretty much doubles her money, but more than that, because she satellited it and then she just Total bounces. free roll. Total free roll and wins a huge flip. Yeah. She won, I Bart think she might won like to slow play yeah, this, yeah, but there did. are she tons did. of yeah, rivers he yeah. won't love. Good for her. Good for Why her, not? for sure. That's the way to do it. Just Get in a flip, win, leave. That hand I four better, I had a big ace. I had a big suited ace. I was like, whoop, go away. As soon as she finds the 2600 like, from Bart Hansen. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> totally. Especially because she just double up. She's not trying to, like, she wouldn't put it in with anything it's, less than There's like, my aces horse on the rail. Like, You're on the rail, that's bad. Back to Hell Muse. <laughs> oh, all right. Hell, has got a pair, but he's also got diamonds and a gut shot. Yeah, Looks like he's going to try to draw down, like Marshall Raylan Givens. <laughs> Pistols at dawn. Hmm. Call. He's going to have to get there on the river. This pot almost to 10K. His gut shot is That's dead, however, like most of the guys that face off against Marshall Raylan Givens. You know who this is? This guy doesn't make mistakes like that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter because he misses everything anyway. <laughs> Bart has got to love this. He's got the nuts. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of. I don't remember any of the action. I'm sorry. I Seven K is a big bet to pay off with just a pair of nines and Helmuth lets it go. Time to show. Time to show, buddy. Oh yes, to show, yeah. Got yeah. show. What was your hand? Nine seven of diamonds. It's not going on. And just like that, after starting the evening That's losing it. money, now Bart's back and, in the winning side. You gotta side. buy the, you gotta buy the champagne. You gotta reimburse Scott there. It was and the table's up a bottle of champagne. <laughs> All right, my babies, we gotta pay the bills, which means a short break, but we will be right back with more Poker Night in America. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Welcome back to Poker Night in America from Thunder Valley in Sacramento, California. Less talky, more poker -y. Yeah, he just we derived, all he has is to derive pleasure in the Patriots losing. That's yeah, everyone derives yeah. pleasure from the Patriots losing, yeah. unless you're a jerk. It was so much fun. We went to the Dallas game, the second game of the last in Dallas, and uh, when Matt Castle threw an interception that was flagged for, for Scott Ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were just, it's so <laughs> funny, we were just talking about that. Makes it 300. Yeah, it was fun. Raising the straddle from Rep Porter. Alan, what are you doing? You're playing so tight all of a sudden. You were so tight. Three offsuit, like every hand. I haven't had ace three. Looks like Bart's going to re-raise. i got to have it to raise you with it, buddy. He does with king nine suited. Okay. I like I still like my spot though. So. Look at you, Scott Ball, yeah, reaching for the big chips. <laughs> That's a four bet. It wasn't bad for like he raises it all the way up to 2,500. Um... Might be time for Bart to ditch this. Oh yeah, tell him I said hi. Phelps, he says hello. Didn't he just win something I saw on, online or something? He's been racing Lochte in these uh, in these meets, and he's been he's been winning. I had a great Ryan Lochte joke, but somebody stole it from me at gunpoint. He's an American legend, right? American hero, right there. He's a hero. I thought Brian Rast is on the final table. Bart Hansen really wants to win the hand yeah, right here. He raises now back to 6,100. Oh, no, he's not. No. I obviously forgot reading. about that as a move. He's got to be in the high roller final table. No, he's on the high roller. You want to bet? I'll bet you he's not the high roller. I think this last shot from Bart might be the winning the one. All right, well, I won't bet that. I'll bet it's not I the high roller. The final Ace table. 10 all of a sudden gets really Sam small. Was in there. She's still in? I, I mean, How about Ari? Have they started today? Yeah. Oh, maybe they didn't start. Ari's the chip leader. 
Oh, we know Scott's got the best hand, but he probably oh, doesn't nice. feel too great about it at this point Tony's and cool ditches it. Go no Bart Hansen. Interesting. Kid. You sure you don't want to claim him as your brother? Because that was a pretty sick move. If I do get nice. some of that money, I might take him in. Bart time. Hansen now straddling on this hand. Mike Ross going to be first to act. Now, I don't know anything about football. I just know I just started liking it again this year a lot. Much like Scott Ball, I don't know much about football either, but I love the fact that there's such a, a thing as the, the cuddle. It's the huddle with an H. Me too. The huddle. Oh, way too much. I don't know. I think it's tomato, it. tomato, the way we're pronouncing it. It's hard to say too much. A huddle. A huddle. Yeah. A huddle. I know, but I, yeah. I love it. Dude, I, I watched at least three games a Sunday, at least. Sick brag. Between Sunday, Monday, probably four games. Yeah. But I, but I go through them in 35 minutes. You can, you know. <laughs> King, queen versus queens versus 10, nine versus the old seven deuce and nine, seven yeah, they have suited. That button on the uh, direct TV thing that fast forwards exactly 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. So the guy hits the ground, boom. Now it's snapped. The guy hits, boom. I can do it in 35 minutes, which is. But for, for Patriots games, though, they go so quick, it, it's two, 30 seconds is oh, too the, much. The worst used to be Manning. Like he would snap every 15 seconds, and so you'd Stop have to like his up and down draw. and then come back. This could be inviting a raise from Pocket yeah, Queens. If that thing was 20, 25 seconds, it would be perfect. Especially if there's some callers in between. Let's see how NFL Mike Ross decides really to handle it. The NFL package, they play them on. Well, Ross um, did yeah, raise. My man. But that's yeah. afterwards. I mean, that's fun. afterwards. Yeah. I record two games. I'll get up at like 12.15. I'll start at like 12.20. I'll fast forward through. Then I'll record some late games. I'll, record, I'll watch one game in 35 minutes, start the other, and then... Oh, man, this is fascinating stuff, Phil. Please tell us more about how way. long you watch stuff for. Could just flip between channels, you know, like this play in. Shh, Rep, don't or ruin it. He's telling you a story, Rep. But then you miss plays. Yeah, we got the ball call. Place. I had to buy their up package to get it so that you Here can... Here we go again, Scotty. Ops to light just $700 on fire instead of $2,100. you are probably ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possible. Well, you can take it like wherever you are. Yeah. Stream it. Not there for ball yet. Ross checks the ball, gives him a free card. Boom! Seven. Dirty. Score one for Scotty Too Hotty. One thousand nine hundred. The bet. Now back to Scott Ball. Yeah, Ball. Don't you open up that window. This is a great spot for Scott, other than the fact that Phil Helmuth is singing into his ear. You get bet into when you've got the nuts. Bakunta called the call the key, tick, 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 bow. And here comes Scott Ball, not just calling, but raising large. That's and I think this is a pretty clear cut fold. I mean, obviously I can see the whole cards, but still, Scott Ball isn't a complete whack job yet. And Ross isn't beating any legitimate hands Scott would raise. I bet was hoping you didn't do that. I try to do the weird stuff sometimes. That way Bart knows he can five bet with King Nine. Oh. <laughs> it's a tough fold. That I don't want to make. Believe me, I know how hard it is to ditch the ladies, but sometimes they're just no good. You did say I was probably head on the flop, to be fair. I feel like you have some nonsense like Jack Eight of Diamonds or. <laughs> Something like that. Do I play that kind of crap? I feel like there's a jack and an eight in your hand. I'm just I'm just letting you know. See, plus look how chirpy Scott is Which too. It's hard to have this obviously. much fun when you're scared you're gonna get called. I was hoping you just called the 1900. That was the object. There. I wanted to get frisky, Mike. Yeah, you wanted to get frisky. Scott, stop talking. Stop. I do that sometimes. S-T-A-H-P. Stop. I'm always in line when I do this, right? Always have it. You know I have an overpair, obviously. I actually didn't know that, but... Yeah, you knew that. Maria, are you comfortable? Do you possibly you have 9-10 in your I'm hand? Sure, you, you check the I turn, of course you can. Yeah, yeah. All right. 9-10 it is. 9-10, sure. 100%. 100%. Always 9-10 for days. Always 9 10. Good for Literally every time. If I were in that pot, I would have read it that way. Oh, if you're in that pot, you would have gotten him to fold the nuts, I'm sure. Helmuth is still in the winner's column, and there are only a few hands left. Can he hold on and book a W? I'm just picturing one of those posters from the dentist's office with the cat hanging from the tree, and it's like, hang in there, baby, Friday's coming. <laughs> but instead of the cats, Phil Helmuth and the tree is money. <laughs> Adorable. We can
hard time, but we play, we get to play every week with the Michael Jordan of poker. Now, he may not be 27-year-old Michael Jordan. He no. may actually be 52-year-old Michael Jordan. Come on, Phil, we're almost there. I want this more than you want this. I like you on top. Come on, baby. Poker night in America tonight at Thunder Valley Resort, just outside of Sacramento. Imagine how much you'd be winning if the cards just broke even. Imagine how much I'd be winning if Alan didn't get away with all the ace six against ace jacks all night. <laughs> yes, everyone, one day Phil Helmuth will have played enough poker that the cards will eventually break even. He just hasn't played quite enough yet. I feel like when this cash game is done, for those of us that aren't playing the tournament, we should all go have one or 500 drinks. I'm down. How much, four? In, in, 100%. All right. I might play the tournament tomorrow. Getting late in the evening, I'm and so Helmuth may be getting a tad loosey-goosey yeah, like calls with King Eight of Spades. We'll have plenty of sleep. <laughs> we can like sleep in. Yes, Maria, yes. We're, we're all going out with you after this, and you're buying. All right, you, you know, I've been out to dinner with it's Maria really several times, and every alcohol, single though. time she I mean, offers to pay, so I let her, oh, I saw because I'm a feminist. Deep. It's awfully bigger, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, most people won't let that go down. I just happened to run into you. I had to practically beg you. And by bag, I mean you were already there before I was there. Scotty likes a drink. <laughs> I only went out three nights all of PC, and she saw me plastered every all three times. Every night, every night. Not every night, three times. Every night that I saw you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> Which, damn, that makes Which, statistically really speaking, bad. like, makes bad me at least Bad spot for Phil with top pair against an over pair. Could have been all night. <laughs> it really wasn't, I promise. I and he is going to lead into this, I just run doing Rep Porter's job yeah, for him. I was having so much fun. Last will Rep call or will he pop it, it up? Still had a great time. Pop, 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 pop. Really? Or what, what, was this the last night at Aura then? Okay. You like that, fella? You like the way it goes pop, 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 pop in your mouth? Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Rep wants a little bit more money out of Phil. He raises it to 2700 Man, one of these days the cards will break. Even, Phil. More? One of these days. I wonder what the end of Phil Helmuth's glasses earpiece tastes like. Gross. <laughs> I mean, I don't wonder enough that I actually want to taste it for myself. I was going to say, we could arrange that, I'm sure. Just speculating. <laughs> All right, what say you, Rep Porter? A little river value. How much? Pretty sweet little bet. Going to be tough for Phil to get away from this. Come on, Phil, here you go. Two aces. It's always aces. Oh, quiet, Phil. Quiet, Phil makes me sad. You almost feel bad for him. <laughs> almost. No, I do. I'm serious this time. Look at him. It feels so unfair. <laughs> oh, wait, here we go. <laughs> Even I get the best hand sometimes. I've seen it. If I can do it, you can definitely do it, Rep. <laughs> I think Scott Ball should continue to laugh sitting right next to him. Feels so unfair. My God. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Keep it coming. And you got the value bet on when the nine paired, which is very likely I have nine, ten of hearts there. Yes, yes. We. Well played. Do we have, thank yep. you. Do we have more I don't think um, he means it. champagne over there? Or are we out? Mike Ross raises with ace ten. We would take those and one more bottle. So much champagne at the table tonight. I don't champagne want to from my real so friends like and real pain from my sham I friends. Her, she won't come over. I don't think so. Well, maybe if he points right at you. I'm so tilted today. Thank you. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He hops the fence with 5 7. And Feels a little ridiculous to me. All right, Check. what do we got here? Top pair for Bart, gut shot for Maria, up and down for Phil. Not enough oh, hearts for Maria's liking, okay. though. She's out of here. Fun water? Oh, yeah, I'll take a water. Take Ross well, bet 800. Please. He gets a call You're from Helmuth. Helmuth. Got it. Thanks. Is it 800? I check. Thank you. Top pair, still good. See if he can slide past the Check. turn. Top pair still, still good. Checks around. Top two pair now good. 2,500. 
and Helmuth, with no showdown value at all, is trying to steal his pot on the river. I don't hate it. If somebody calls, he's going to. <laughs> that is absolutely true. There's no way Bart can fold. It's really hard for him to be beat here, but he can't raise either because the only hands that can call are hands that do have him beat. He's got to worry just a bit though because he's not closing the action. Good call, you got it. Eh, it's tough to bluff a guy who rivers top two. Sorry, Phil. Still waiting for those cards to break even. Ah, no, Phil. Why? Ah. Uh, stay tuned to find out who actually ended up a winner tonight. It's, it'll be okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know, here's the thing. We give him a hard time. But we, play, we get to play every week with the Michael Jordan of poker, and he really gives people tips, and he cares a lot about it, and I think at the end of the day, now, the friendship means a lot to him. he may not be 27-year-old Michael Jordan. He no. may actually be 52-year-old Michael Jordan. But <laughs> However, it's still Michael Jordan, and that means something. It's, it's a blast to have him in the game. Yeah, he, we he, love him. He, we love him. He's, uh, he's... We love the news. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Well, the day is over, but we're not done yet. Let's see who will and won't be losing any sleep tonight. Day one comes to a close looking like this. The ups and downs of the world has Alan Richardson on top and Mark Kroon on the bottom. And look at that, Bart Hansen right in the middle. Actually, nice day for him. He started the day 12,000 down. Doing an awesome job repping your family. Well, day one from Thunder Valley is in the books, which would be great if I'd ever learned to read. Yeah, he can't even go to the website, but you can. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. For all of us here at Poker Night in America, thanks for watching. Three, two. Come on, Phil, we're almost there. I want this more than you want this. I like you on top. Come on, baby. Dude, that, that's really weird. Sorry, didn't this is such a long pause that I just couldn't know. <laughs> All right, I'll turn it down a little. Oh, he's going to put this one in, of course.